Hello, um, this is my response to Big Lundy's A Question of Free Will. Um, excellent video, I thought, um, and f said phenomenal, um, said very clearly some very good uh, points on free will. I think the end, the end question is absolutely correct in the sense that um, the big problem has been some finding a test for free will. Um, because you'd, ha you'd you'd come up against Turing's test for um, artificial intelligence that would make you think it's probably fakeable. Could you create something um, that you could that you could test? And if it's not testable, it's not a question for science. So until it is testable, until you could define it enough to then describe what the um, traits of free will are, um, because I think it's something other than appears to be free will. You, you could set up, say, a, um, a computer which had a restricted number of options that were randomly selected, like a dice, for example, and maybe you could then weight th that dice for your, you know, for some set of ethics, ethics that you were brought up on, um, or something like that. And it would, it would probably be indistinguishable from free will. Um, and people would say, ah, but free will's got to be something that's not affected by, that, that isn't wholly based in um, the inputs over a lifetime and the, the memory capacity of the brain. Um, so I suppose you could, you could wonder if you took away the memory capability of the brain or something like that, you know, would the person still have free, free will? And then it kind of becomes meaningless. I think... Uh, so I, I agree with your end question. I think it's the wrong question that's been asked. Um, if if it is what people think it is, then it's probably untestable, which means it's unprovable. Um, so, I, and I, I mean, certainly as you identify from a physics point of view, I mean, it's not only quantum theory, it's also um, classical physics uh, and relativity. Both prevent you from allowing what to know what's going on right now. So your, um, uh, your ability to know in time almost to, make, to react to that, into, uh, that information um, is impossible. You can't know the start point um, and the, you know, the position and trajectory of, a, of anything um, within useful um, limits if you're going to argue that the brain is some sort of co um, quantum computer. Um, so I, 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 abso uh, I absolutely agree with um, everything you said. I think it was an excellent um, video. Um, the only thing I would kind of um, where Tony, um, where um, AC Grayling says about you know act, act as though we do have free will, and I think that's absolutely right. I think people understand that. Um, I think that um, the idea of responsibility is 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 a separate issue. Um, with regard to punishment, because if you had somebody who's, who used the free will defence or lack of free will defence for um, something like murder, or I keep kidnapping children and murdering them. Um, I should be. I'm not responsible because of free will. Well, that's very interesting. However, you'd still need to be separated from society. So I think the, the haven't got free will argument is a good defence of punishing people less but it's not an argument against separating from them separating them from society because they are just too incompatible um, with uh, you know societal principles I I would say so like um, Bertrand Russell said you know the 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 uh, method of incarceration which is kindness to the the criminal is the one that ought to be preferred, and for very good, you know, um, reasons that he, you know he might not be responsible for his actions, but that doesn't mean that he shouldn't be separated from society, as as, as Russell said about the plague victim. So um, I will leave it there under five minutes, which is I suppose quite good. Um, but yeah, uh, I agree totally with um, with your video, and I thought it was excellent you made. Um, cheers. Bye.